Pat Foran explains on Consumer Alert. Pat. Michelle and Ken, the survey by Equifax found that some people are willing to tell lies about their income if it will help them get the house they want. But doing that is considered mortgage fraud and people who do it could find themselves in trouble. Over the past three years, there has been an increase of more than 50% in mortgage applications that are potentially fraudulent. Housing costs are increasing, but for many, their salaries are not. It's why there are more cases of home buyers lying about their income. They're submitting altered pay stubs and falsified tax documents trying to show they're worth more than they really are. When you're entering into a contract with a lender, you're entering into a, um, a contract that's legally binding, and so it's simply against the law to be lying. In its mortgage fraud survey, Equifax says 8% of those asked said they misrepresented the facts when getting a loan, 13% felt it's okay to lie on a mortgage application, and 16% said mortgage fraud is a victimless crime. Lying on mortgage documents could prevent an honest person from winning a bidding war. If someone qualifies for a home by overstating their finances, it could lead to a foreclosure or bankruptcy at a later date. If interest rates actually rise, then I can be in a situation where I can no longer afford those payments and it becomes very difficult for the consumer. The survey also found that many people buying homes have serious trust issues with the professionals who are supposed to be trying to help them. The survey found 44% said they don't trust real estate agents, 27% the home seller, 26% home inspectors, 20% mortgage brokers, and 16% don't even trust their own bank. The survey also found many people feel that current housing prices are too high. 84% believe the market has become too expensive for first-time buyers. Equifax says many parents are also feeling pressure to help their children buy homes. They're being asked to provide down payments or co-sign mortgages, which could also put them in a difficult financial position. On your side, I'm Pat Foran.